and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K, and you are? Rob Dietrich. Um, and you're with Black & Whiskey, right? You're the oh, yeah. Master Distiller? Master Distiller for Black & Whiskey. So uh, how did you uh, get into that? Uh, well, whiskey in general, uh, I, I got into it with over my love, love of uh, vintage, sorry, it was uh, vintage motorcycles. So I, I met uh, the guy who originally taught me how to distill back in 2006, and uh, we, we were both working on motorcycle projects. Um, and it was uh, uh, it was just kind of a he was working on a motorcycle at the distillery to, to run off the heads, and uh, so I learned uh, I learned distilling in Colorado, making single malt whiskey, and then uh, with Blackens. Um, I was, uh, you know, it was very unfortunate to hear about Dave Pickerel's passing. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, he was, uh, he was an acquaintance of mine, and uh, and, and a good friend to so many in, in the distilling community. And it was um, uh, very sad. So I, I had, they had uh, reached out to me about uh, uh, taking over the master distiller role for Black and after after he passed away last year. So we are at a bourbon festival, so it's like yeah. anybody you're looking forward to seeing tonight. I mean, you know, there's there's gonna be a lot of familiar faces. Yeah. You know, I, I know, uh, you know, I, I see. Uh, I'm a whiskey nerd, so you know, we all we all, uh, you know, when you're at whiskey fest, you tend to see, uh, you know, other master distillers, other head distillers, and we all tend to uh, kind of commiserate and, and, and whiskey nerd out a little bit. So uh, um, I'm sure there's gonna be some familiar faces. Yeah, it's good to hear. So um, I've heard a few things about Blacken. I'm sure we can set a trade. So I heard you guys. Use, uh, it's called I heard black noise to black noise, uh, season yeah. the uh, finish of what the finish the uh, whiskey. Is that true? All right, so uh, so you know it's a blend of uh, you know five different uh, whiskeys. You know, we got bourbons and, and rides in there. Uh, we do a cask finish in black brandy casks, which are Spanish uh, Spanish brandy. Um, at that point, we do uh, uh, we use sonic enhancements. So we have a, we have a system that we use uh, that we created. That's a proprietary system uh, that uses a low frequency, a low hertz to uh, vibrate and pummel uh, barrels with the whiskey so they're 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 moving in and out of the wood um, at, a, at a much more rapid at a much rapid rate it's really fascinating to see the science behind it and how well this actually works yeah so we're a uh, big music guy so doing music uh, yeah. alcohol like music themed alcohol like beers like we had a death punch beer not too long ago and uh, there's a local brewery in um, Indiana that did like a cannibal corpse beer and stuff like oh, that yeah um, I've, I've had that beer that's, have that's you? good yeah so um, being a, a band alcohol, it's, it's pretty pretty unique for like Metallica to sponsor that. Now, are they? Do they have a distillery somewhere? Is that something that you guys have? Uh, so well, currently, we're doing our production uh, in in Vermont. Uh, so right now, uh, you know, as we've been getting our feet under us, um, you know, we're we're looking at uh, establishing another facility somewhere. Uh, but right now, we're doing all of our uh, you know the. Uh, the blending, uh, the, the cast finishing, the sonic enhancements, and bottling all in uh, Vermont. Yeah, and I know, uh, as I mentioned, we're a big uh, band, especially Metallica. Metallica started off for me, it was my first oh, concert. I know, my heart. It was my first concert for me when I was a teenager. Yeah. Uh, they came here like 2003 or 2004, and I went and saw them, and it changed my life. Uh, it turned me on to you know, music, and, well, it, it, and that got me into beer and alcohol, and which could be a good or bad thing, depending uh, on No, not at all. But I know uh, I we, it's we haven't been able to get blackened, but I heard your distribution started to lag recently. Is that... Oh yeah, we're so we are we're in uh, more than 22 states right now. Um, you know, we've just been growing at a, at a rapid pace, uh, not too rapid. You know, we are whiskey, so it, you, know, you know it is about the waiting yeah. game. Um, you know, it's it, you, know, you can't just turn on the, the faucet with whiskey. But uh, it's been really exciting just to see the response, um, obviously from uh, Metallica fans um, and uh, and also the whiskey community. You know, the whiskey community is always interested in in new and innovative whiskeys, and that's exactly what we bring to the table. Yeah, we actually had a chance to try it finally. I, oh yeah, I thought it was pretty great. I mean, we've had thousands of whiskeys. And, sure. Uh, you know, not saying bad things, but sometimes with band beers and some some bands just try to get them out there as fast as they can. But I feel like it's a good quality product uh, from what I've had. Yeah, you know, that was definitely the case with with, with Metallica. They wanted to make a whiskey that was going to stand uh, uniquely on its own. They wanted the quality uh, that the ba the band brings to their music. They wanted the same thing uh, to stand for the whiskey, and that's why they approached Dave Pickerel, uh, who's a legendary distiller, uh, to create a high quality whiskey that can can be uh, able to stand on its own that's why 
why, uh, you know, for me, I think that's the most important, you know, that's why I took uh, on this project was, you know, I recognize the quality of the whiskey and, and uh, to me that's important to uphold that, that, that legacy of Dave and to continue to uh, create new innovations. Uh, any plans for any kind of like single barrel stuff or special cast or anything like that in the future? Um, we definitely have some innovations, you know, uh, that we're, you know, that we're, we're working on right now. Uh, nothing I can specifically speak about, but there are some, some exciting things in the pipeline for sure. All right, Rob, well, I appreciate talking to you. It's my pleasure. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Black you. in.